I almost immediately ordered a new PC after hearing this awesome news from Rockstar. And yeah, heavily overpaid, because only RTX 3070 costs almost $2000 on average in my region. But I regret nothing, in fact I'm really excited, because it seems like finally I will be able to come back to PC and play Red Dead Online safely. And maybe in the future it will be even possible to stream this game from PC without having any problems and issues caused by cheaters. Anyway, actually I have few news related to the topic of discussion, but they all can be described with one sentence. Finally, Rockstar started to do something about this problem with cheaters and mod menu users on a PC. Obviously, I'm talking about GTA Online and Red Dead Online, because if someone wants to use mod menu in a single player, who cares? But it's not okay in online, because someone can ruin completely your game experience and not even let you play for a long time like it happened to me. I've been chased by mod menu users for a long time, they were not letting me not only to stream, but even to play and record some footage for my videos. Rockstar support was not helping me, totally ignoring the problem, and that's why more than 4 months ago I decided to completely quit playing Red Dead Online on PC. I've made a video explaining the situation, and since then have not even logged in into Red Dead Online on a PC, but few weeks ago situation has changed. And now it's much safer to play on PC than even few months ago go, so let me explain what happened. By the way, it's great news, even if you are a console player and not interested in Red Dead Online on a PC at all, you will understand later why. Anyway, two months ago I shared with you some good news about how Take-Two Interactive made Luna Modes developers to stop doing what they are doing. And yeah, as far as I know, these Luna Modes are focused on making mode menus for GTA Online specifically. Yet I thought that it's still great news, because it was a clear indication of the fact that Rockstar and Take-Two are starting to do something about these mode menus. And I was hoping that soon they will also shut down some mode menus for Red Dead Online as well. But later it turned out that this attack on Luna modes is even more important than I thought. Because it looks like Take-Two not simply shut down this mode menu developer, but also made them to share some sort of an information on how these mode menus are functioning. And uses this knowledge they improved net code for Red Dead Dead Online significantly. And yeah, Luna Modes were focused on making these mode menus for GTA Online, but as far as I know, GTA Online and Red Dead Online has a lot of similarities, especially if we're talking about net code. I mean, both these games have crappy, outdated and unprotected net code that allows mod users to be complete gods, especially if we're talking about Red Dead Online like few months ago. Any mode menu user had unlimited powers, he could ruin your game experience anytime he wanted. He could crush your game, chase you, and the most importantly, there was almost no way to stop him or even hide. So if for some reason mode menu users was angry on you, like you were doomed, it it was over. Okay, so Rockstar developers learned something from how this mode menu are functioning, and few weeks ago important changes were made. So first of all, now mode menu user cannot drag you into his lobby. Because previously they could invite you and you were were accepting this invite automatically without even knowing it, so you were not safe even in a private lobby or on a legendary bounty mission or legendary animal mission for example. I personally lost countless legendary animals because of this, they were just getting me out of these private sessions and then crushing me. But now, after all these changes, you are absolutely safe in any private lobby. And yeah, unfortunately there is no private lobbies officially in Red Dead Online, but there are ways to do some, just google for it. Plus, you will be absolutely safe while making legendary bounty or legendary animal missions or these new telegram missions. And it's already a great improvement, but there is even more. Now, if you will block mod menu user's social club account, he will not be able to even join your session. Just like the previous change, this one is really working. I have proofs from different sources. For example, one Russian language streamer who also stopped playing and streaming from a PC because of mode menu users told me that for a few weeks now he's playing and streaming from a PC with no problems after he blocked all mode menu users who were chasing him. So anyway, how can you block mode menu user? It's really simple. You just open players list and choose a player who in your opinion is using mode menus. By the way, this one is not a mode menu user, it's just a random dude, so I will blur his nickname just in case. Anyway, now you just pick view profile, it will open 
on his social club account, you choose player options and just block. And that's it, now you will have to wait something between 15 to 45 minutes and maybe restart the game client, but after that this person will not be able to join your session ever again. At least he will no longer be able to jump on you by just knowing your nickname. Just make sure that this person is not in your friends list, because it might not really work if he will be still in your friends list. But what if cheater is just crushing you before you even can find him in the player's list? Well, the situation is a little worse but there is solution as well just ask your friend to be in a different lobby and open players list then jump to your friend's session and your friend will have to watch who will join this session right after you and if you're gonna get crushed after this well this new person is gonna be a cheater just keep in mind mode menu users can still change the nickname how they appear in the game but they cannot change the social club account pages so your friend will still have to open his social club account but now when you're gonna know cheaters real social club accounts name you just go to your social club use search feature find him and just block him by the way these two accounts don't belong to me i don't have playstation so just keep in mind so as you can see rockstar made some huge improvements with red dead online on pc but i'm pretty sure it's only beginning take a look here another cool information from video tech there is a job posting on rockstar careers relating to a position for associate cheat operation analyst and actually i've opened this link and there is a real uh, such position for rockstar india and look what they are saying what we do this role involves monitoring multiple sources of information to identify cheaters and online mods for our titles and taking appropriate action on that information Hooray! Or take a look at responsibilities. Support the day-to-day -day operation of anti-cheat and anti-fraud program. Or monitor and enforce anti-cheat policies. Assist in conducting investigations and so on. I mean, it looks extremely promising. It looks like these changes, pretty huge changes that I've already told you about, is just an only first step. And soon it will be much safer to play Red Dead Online on a PC. I mean, there always will be some cheaters, but when the company starts to do something about this problem, the amount of cheaters decreases dramatically. So yeah, it's a great news and not only for a PC players, but for a console players as well, because it's a clear indication that Rockstar cares about Red Dead Online, still cares, and invests resources to make this game better. By the way, it's kind of funny situation, but since Rockstar is not communicating with the players, no one really knows about this work that Rockstar done to improve Red Dead Online. But now you know it and we finally can say good job rockstar good job i just don't know where you can say this maybe in the comments for this video whatever as for me personally i still will not be streaming from pc yet because it's still dangerous i mean if someone will want to ruin your stream he can make it and you will spend a lot of time to block him or to create this private lobby so it's unsafe but i will play and record videos from pc a lot now i mean i've been missing 60 frames per second and this pvp with mouse and a keyboard by the way i want to say thanks to all my patreon supporters and you my viewers who kind of helped me to gather this money for a new pc anyway let me know in the comments whether you are as optimistic as i am about all this situation what do you think will we ever be able to play red dead online or gta online on a pc without worrying about cheaters so it's uh, fantastic anyway i hope you enjoyed this video thank you for watching like subscribe до свидания